Yo, what's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and today in this video, I'm going to show you how is the Validas OS 8.1 ROM on Redmi Note 3. And previously, I did a video on Validas OS 8.0. If you want to check it out, cards will be linked right here. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen. So first, you need to go to this XGA thread to download the ROM and GApps. All the imported links will be listed in the description box below, so do not worry. To do this, make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader, TWRP recovery installed and back up everything before proceeding and do this on your own risk. So as I have already downloaded the ROM and GApps, let me boot the phone into TWRP recovery. So now go to wipe, then advanced wipe, wipe cache, Dalvi cache, system and data. Now go back, go back. I am using TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2 to flash this ROM. Now hit install, locate the ROM and GApps file, select them and swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Once done, hit reboot system and wait again for at least 5 minutes for the system to boot up. Here we have the V logo of Validus OS and the boot animation is quite nice, I gotta say. Once we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. As the setup process is done now, so let's see how is the stock launcher here. It's pretty much the same launcher 3 which is quite similar to pixel launcher. From here you can customize stuff like weather. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with. Except UC browser and wallpaper app, they are there because I am restoring Google app data backup. Now let's go to the launcher settings to show you guys what things are there to customize. Now let's see how is the about section looks like. As you can see we have Validus OS logo here and based on Android 8.1 with latest January 5, 2018 security patch. But if you tap on updates then the settings for stops. Considering it's a beta 1.0 that's not even a bug in my opinion. Now let's talk customizations. In the settings on top you will find Wolves Den. From here you can customize a bunch of stuff like system, lock screen, status bar etc. Let me show one by one to get you an idea. So from the system you can customize animations, power menu, notifications and other stuff. From the notification you can enable heads up to be less annoying, yes, but you can't disable heads up as of now. From the themes, if you select anything except default. The UI becomes black, so consider that as a bug. From the battery bar, of course you can turn on the battery bar and change the color of it or change the thickness or whatever you want. From the animation, you can customize transition effects if you want to. In various settings, you can enable double tap to sleep which works fine here and pretty important to me because my power button is almost broken. From the status bar, of course you can customize the status bar and quick settings panel. From hardware keys, you can program the hardware keys which I will do a few moments later. Here is a demo of Geo4G Vault E working. To 
Now I will change some action of the home button and menu button. Once you select go to last step by double tapping on the menu key, you will notice immediately that it is pretty quick. Let me take a quick picture to see if the camera is working fine with default camera app. And yes, it works fine. These are the extra things of quick settings panel. So, Wi Fi, Vaulty, camera, torch, FPC fingerprint scanner, everything is working fine in this ROM. I have not found a solid bug yet except the theme bug. You can tap on this icon of quick settings panel to check free RAM and running background apps. If you send a text or complete downloading something, then this shows in a layer of rounded white background like this. The Vaulty logo is cool here, I like it. Now I will open some apps to show you guys how is the RAM management in this ROM. So as you can see it's great as all the background apps are running. I'll talk about the battery life of this ROM later on Twitter so do follow me there. Here are the benchmarks of this ROM in case you are interested. So that wraps up this video guys hope you have enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here for many more awesome contents like this. This is Tito from KTN Tech signing off I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.